Friends, 985 days of war between Russia and Ukraine. In southern war zone, once again, no significant changes in Kharkov or Zaporizhia oblasts. In east, in Marinka Kurakhov sector, Russians launched large-scale offensive on Kurakhov city yesterday evening. They have entered Novo Alexi Yevka near Selido. So far in this sector, they have taken over Maxi Mevka Kurakhivka, most of Novo Selidivka, Ilinka, and part of Puzne Senka, and Russian offensive operation continuing in Berestki and Uspenivka. These all overlap with Pukro sector. In Pukro sector itself, Russians advance west of Selido and Novod Maitrivka area and northwest towards Grigorivka. Toresk sector, Russians made marginal gains in the city itself as per ISW, while Bakhmut Chasivyar or Siversk area, no significant changes, though ISW says that Russians advanced near Siversk city. Northeast Ukraine, that is Kupyan Swatovo, criminal directions, Russians made some gains in Kupyan sector and also towards Lyman, that is Kremina direction, and Torsky and Terny. North Kharkiv, that is Slobozansky direction, no significant changes in Volchansk or Lipsy direction. Coming to Kursk Oblast, Klushkova district, no significant changes. Similar situation in Kurino and Sudza district. However, heavy fight is continuing and in northern sector towards Pugrevki, the Russians have made some small gains. Interdiction missions continues. Ukrainians' 19 drones were destroyed over Rostov, Belgorod, Velgograd, while Russians hit Kiev, Sumy, Poltava, Nipropetrovsk sectors. Palestine, Lebanon, Israel Middle East, now it is 393 days of war. Gaza Strip war continues as before and similar situation in West Bank where situation seems to be escalating. On Lebanon border, counter-attacks by both the sides continuing while Hezbollah is not far behind the Israeli forces except that they do not have air power or air defense but their rockets and UAVs continue devastating northern Israel. Because of the forthcoming election in US, it has suspended to and fro flight from Israel and also as the threat from Iran per persists. Moldova election results by and large has come. Alexander Stoya Noglo, who was leading in local election for presidential post with 51.19% but has finally lost to Maya Sandhu as she now claims to have 54.96% because of diaspora votes. I wonder how many were they but they all come from the Western Europe and elsewhere. USA and allies will accept this election but not what happened in Georgia or earlier in Venezuela. The democracy is not about election but about pro-American regimes and as far as in Bangladesh and Pakistan. All eyes are on tomorrow's USA election but what changes do you expect? I do not expect any great changes as US imperialism works on its own inertia. And unless imperialism itself is destroyed, there will be no changes. Thank you guys.